Welcome back to Biz Talk with Sherman. I'm your host, Sherman On. Appreciate our previous guests that have come on so far and talked about how businesses can really be ramping up and looking at their overall marketing strategy with Mike yeah. Moran. And also we're talking about how they can have a little bit look at their needs and expenses and also how to reinvest and hire. And then of course we have the personal planner with Margie yeah. Duncan. Excited to have our next guest on here, Your Tech, Your Biz with Roland Parker. Welcome back to the show, Roland. Hey Sherman, great to be back. All right, now let's dive in. For some small businesses, um, it's crucial for them to be able to set up a business network. What's that look like? So there's three different types of networks that you're gonna look at, a wired network, a wireless network, and then a hybrid. Now, most of the time that when customers contact us, they're doing one of three different things. Either they're starting a business, they're moving into a new location, or they've got a current business, but they're struggling with their network. So let's break that down. Your wired network. This is when everything is hardwired to your modem. So your modem would be connected to a switch, and then your switch has these cables that run through the walls. This is still the most reliable, consistent network that you're gonna get, and it's also the most secure, but it is more expensive. And most of that uh, expense is actually gonna come from professionally networking uh, the cable so that they're not visible. Now, of course, if you're starting a business, most modems that you get from your internet provider are gonna have a built-in router and it is gonna be wireless. So a lot of people, when they're starting the business, will say, okay, let's go with a wired wireless router because that's gonna be the most convenient and cheapest. But the further you go away from the modem or the router, the lower your signal's gonna be, and the more it's gonna have a tendency to drop. So we would come in at that case and say, okay, if this is in your home or a small business, you may benefit from what is called a wireless mesh system. And that's where we connect an access point directly to the modem, and then the other access points talk to that original access point, and it creates this mesh throughout your house or your business. One thing that you mustn't do is go with um, these boosters. I've seen so many people come in, I'm having issues with my wireless, they go to a big box store, they get a booster, they plug it in, and they just have endless troubles with them. So it's far better to go with a wireless mesh system than to go with a booster. Now, you get to the hybrid situation, and the hybrid is, well, I'm wired, but I wanna have wireless capabilities. And there's various reasons for this. It could be a doctor's office. Obviously the doctor wants his place secure and all of their main computers are gonna be hardwired in, but when the doctor moves around, they wanna be wireless. So we are able to put in what are called wireless access points. And those are hardwired in through your wired network, but they provide wireless points throughout the offices or your factory. Another example of this could be where you've got a factory, your offices are hardwired in, but the person who's doing the inventory counts and pulling inventory is gonna have a wireless computer, wireless scanner. In that case, you wanna be able to add wireless to it. We're also seeing a lot of um, wireless devices that have come up, wireless cameras, um, doorbell cameras, that type of thing. Those have all gotta be, uh, a lot of those are wireless, so you wanna have a good wireless mesh system or a wireless access point system. So the big thing is security, reliability, and if you have a wireless network, you're obviously gonna have vulnerabilities, and the bad guys can use that wirelessness system to access your network. So if you wanna keep your server secure, you wanna keep your network secure, you, you've gotta make sure that it's tied down so that the bad guys can't and log into it. Some really good tips there, Roland. Is there anything that as businesses want to evaluate what seems to make more sense of them? You used a good example of having some hardwired offices and then those that are kind of moving, needing that wireless experience. Um, are those businesses out there where they're just wired is the most ideal for them from a security perspective, even though it's gonna be more costly? Absolutely. Um, you know, we, we really want to sit down with you and look at what are you trying to achieve. And if you're looking for security, 
your best bet is hardwired. And when, you, when you're wiring a business, um, wired is still faster, but if you've taken over an existing business and you might find, wow, we've got these new fiber lines, but we're still having these bottlenecks, we may come in and discover that you've got the older Cat5 wiring instead of the newer Cat6. Cat5 limits you to 100 megabits per second. So you could be paying for gigabit fiber lines, but your computers, they may be gigabit capable, which is 1,000 megabits per second, but they're gonna be bottlenecked to that 100 megabits per second because you've got old cabling. And in that case, we'd wanna come in, pull the old cables out, replace them with Cat6 cables, and boost up your speed. So, you know, your starting point is always sit down with somebody like us. We'll run a network analysis, and then we'll determine, okay, is this good just for wired? Can you get away with wireless and be secure? Or do you wanna go with that hybrid situation where we've got hard wire plus wireless access points boosting your wireless signal? Some really sound advice here when it comes to being able to sit down with a professional and really see what makes sense for their business and what they're trying to ultimately accomplish. I know that for a lot of people listening as business owners, they might need to talk to somebody. If they have any follow-up questions, Roland, how can they get a hold of you and your team over that Impress Computers? The best thing to do, give us a call 281-647-9977 or reach us on the web, impresscomputers.tech. So it's I-M-P-R-E-S-S, computers.tech. We can schedule an appointment, sit down with you and discuss what your best network needs are for reliability, security, speed and optimization. All right, wonderful. Well, thanks for coming in, uh, Roland, and sharing with us those key tips for businesses as they look at whether to go wired, wireless, or a hybrid. Um, we're going to take a quick commercial break, folks, and come back with Peak the Profits with Jen, Dra with Jen Drago. Thanks, Sherman.